Hey guys, on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about roll center and how it's affected when you lower your car. All right, so today we're talking about roll center. Now you might be wondering what is roll center and I'll show you how to figure out what roll center is. So I have some diagrams on the board right here. Uh, this is demonstrating a stock mini uh, configuration with its double wish bones. What you do is you take your upper and your lower control arm and you draw an imaginary line in between the two uh, points in which they rotate. So you can see here I drew a line here and I drew a line here between the lower ball joint and the bushing and you see right here. This is called the instantaneous center where these two points meet. Now how you find your roll center is you draw a line that demonstrates the center line of the car. Let's say it's here. This is the center line of the car and let's say our center of gravity is around here. Now, the center of gravity changes throughout the car, but for demonstration purposes, we'll say it's right here. Now, what you do to find your roll center is you take a line and you draw it from the center line of the tire right here to the point at which these two lines meet. And I'll do that like this, right around there. And where this line that goes from the center line of the car meets the instantaneous center along the center line of the car, this here is your roll center. Now, what you want is that you want your roll center to be as close to the center of gravity of the car as possible. This will give you the most amount of roll stiffness without having to increase spring rates or sway bars. Now the factory one here is fairly close uh, to the center of gravity. Uh, now we all know that we want uh, better handling so we want to lower our center of gravity so the mass isn't up top It's nice and close to the ground. So what we do lower the car and that's demonstrated here Now the problem with lowering the car is that it also affects your roll center And if I were to draw the same line, let's say right here is going to be the center line of the car Something like here. This is our This is our center of gravity If I take a line now and I draw it between the center line of the wheel and where these two points meet, something like this, you can see now this is our roll center. Now, the space in between the center of gravity and the roll center, you can imagine as a lever, a mechanical advantage for the suspension. Now, the bigger the gap, the more mechanical advantage it will have, therefore the more body roll you'll get. So when you lower the car and you affect your roll center, you are actually uh, losing roll stiffness. So you have to compensate by that by adding stiffer springs or bigger sway bars, both of which actually reduce grip. So the best way to do it is you want your center of gravity to be lowered, but you also want your roll center to be as close to that new center of gravity as possible. How do we do that? We affect uh, our roll center by adjusting the point at which the control arms meet the hubs. Now, Right here I've got, with this little demonstration here, there's a spacer in between the lower ball joint and the hub. Now if I were to do the exact same thing again, center line of the car, center of gravity somewhere around here, and we take this dot and we meet the point at which it meets here, you can see the spacing is now very similar to stock, not this big one over here, and we have lowered our center of gravity uh, so closer to the ground. So really simple, easy to do, makes a big difference. You don't have to run as stiff of springs or big sway bars. You maintain your grip, lower your uh, center of gravity and also uh, match it with your roll center. Now you're asking how exactly do I make the spacer? There's a couple different options for this. Uh, one of which we sell on our website. This is called the Fletcher Spaced Ball Joint. You can see it here. If I take one out, these are pretty cool. They look like a normal ball joint, except that you can see it's way taller. So what this does, it threads onto your hub on the lower ball joint and actually lowers the outboard pickup point of the lower control arm. This is how we get this angle here. The nice thing about these also is that they are pre-sealed. You don't have to shim them. So you literally unscrew your factory ball joint, screw this one on, torque it up, and you're done. And from there, you have corrected geometry, lower center of gravity, and you'd be amazed at the difference it makes even with a stock street-driven car.
So if you're interested in picking up a set of these for yourself, check them out there on our website, stevesimmotorco.com. The link will be in the description below. And stay tuned for a future episode, we're gonna be talking about bump steer and what that is and how it affects your car when you lower it. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. Every Tuesday, we'll be coming out with a new Tech Tip Tuesday.